going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm tired. I worked until 1 in the morning. I went to bed at 2. I woke up at 6.30. I'm out here on this lake with my uncle. And we're going to do some fishing. We're going to try and catch some smallmouth, some largemouth, maybe some pike. But there's no telling what's going to happen. So hopefully, we'll get into some fish and you guys enjoy today's video. Uncle Bob, say hi to the viewers. Hello. What are we going to be fishing for today? Anything that bites. Are we going to have fun? Of course. got three rods with me. Uh, I've got a spinnerbait, a uh, Rapala DT6, and a Megabass Vision 110 tied on. I'm going to start with those. Pretty sure Uncle Bob is going to fish for bluegill and crappie. So hopefully we can get into some fish today. You know, actually, for you guys at home, you know, he called me yesterday and he's like, hey, do you want to go do some fishing? And I was kind of hem-hawing around. I was like, eh, I don't know. I'm not going to make it. And then I got home and I thought about it and I said, you know what? I'm going to call him. I'm going fishing. Hopefully. Oh, he smoked it. He hit it right there. Oh, I lost him. No, no. There was a fish right there. Oh, that was a good hit. I wasn't even paying attention. I went to set the hook, he was gone. Oh, no. Hit it, smoked it, got him. That feels like, ooh, that feels like a good fish. Oh my God, he hit it hard. Oh, that's a pike, Never mind. Okay. Well, first. A little hammer handle. First fish of the day, a pike. Let's get him back in the water. Just a little pike. Did you get? Oh, he's hooked up. He's got a fish. Pike. Yep, he's got a pike. Pike is in the net. Settle down, feller. He wasn't that active in the water. He's just a little feller. Just do your camera, your GoPro. That's fine. Look, just a little pike. I about, yeah, I just about fell and I became jerkbait. <laughs> uh, Vision 110. Only because smallmouth love jerkbaits. This is what was a Mega Bass Vision 110. Uh, and here's what happened. Uh, I set Uncle Bob's net right here. I was casting. Everything was fine. And then I went to make another cast. And I casted too far to the right. And that happened. Shit happens. There is no fixing that. Uncle Bob is hooked up. I think he caught another pike. I was in the middle of changing over to uh, square bale crankbait. Is it a pike? I'm hooked up to an, another pike. Pike. 
good bait. <laughs> good bait. Oh, let's get back out there. He hit it. There's a fish. Yes. Ooh. Looks like a bass. It's a small one. That's a, ooh, that's a smallmouth, isn't it? Yes, it is. Smallmouth, bam, on the spinner bait. It's right off that drop off, I casted that. I casted that spinner bait back there, back that way. Got the smallmouth. Just a dink, but pretty fish. Oh, I know there is. On the green pumpkin, too. All right, buddy. So far, all the fish, uh, the pike and the smallmouth that I caught have came off of the spinnerbait. Uh, when we were back that way, uh, I tried a, a Rapala DT6 crankbait. I tried a score bill, and I tied on a shaky head for a minute. I didn't catch anything. Yeah, it's another pike. Another little pike. He, he, he was just saying like two seconds ago that uh, we weren't catching any fish. And I said, we're, oh, look at this. Look at the hit where that one's been cut. Well, look at the, I don't. I it probably got hit by a bigger fish. Yeah. What, what is it? Well, yeah, you've got four pound test on, that's why. Damn it. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's gonna be it for us for the day. I have to head in and go to work. Um, caught a few pike and that one small mouth, but that was it. So, whatever. I mean, could have been better, but we had fun. Thank you for watching this episode. I've had a lot of people ask me, what do I do for work? Because in my videos, I talk about having to go to work or work kind of often. Well, I am a crane operator uh, in a steel mill. And basically what I do is I operate five and ten ton overhead cranes and I move steel around and, you know and because it's in a steel mill I have to wear a hard hat safety glasses and earplugs and also steel toe boots okay it's yeah <laughs>